Hi, this is Dr. Dickinson, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to give your students feedback using Google Drive. So once you've created a Google account and you have documents that are ready for you to review, you are ready to start giving feedback. So the first thing you want to do is click on the document, and it should be a Word document. You can upload that in Google Drive, but you will not be able to edit a PDF. You can either create it in Google Drive or you can upload it. See this document here with the W? That means it is a Word document that has been uploaded. So once I click on it, it's going to take me to this screen right here. Won't allow me at this point to edit it, so I need to go up to where it says Open With and click on Google Docs. That's the Google Doc. It's going to convert it to a Google Doc. That way I'm able to add feedback and comments. All right, so now I'm in the document. My students created a lesson plan and I want to give them feedback. I want to make sure, first of all, that my Google Drive document is in editing mode. So this way I can make edits. I'll be able to edit on the document directly. If I just want to change it because I'm maybe co-writing with a colleague of mine, maybe I'm doing some peer editing and we just want to bypass the whole space of does this work for you and just edit on the document directly, then I'll want it to move to suggesting mode. If the document is just in view, viewing mode right here, you won't be able to add a comment. So now I know it's on editing. This works for me. Okay, obviously, right now, if I click on comments, I'm not able to add comments because I need to select where I want to add a comment. So I select the area. See, my students has, has included the standard. I just add a comment right here. Great that you are thinking about a specific standard. And I click on comments. Now, my student is able to go in and they can resolve this or they can add feedback. They can edit it or delink or link to this comment if they want to link to another document. Again, um, we want to just select the area. So here my student is writing a student standard of what the students will be able to do. Maybe I have a question for them. What modifications Will you make for your students with exceptionalities? All right, and then I just click on comments. So that's pretty much how you add comments. Then you're able to share the link directly. It will have to be the same link. So you don't need to send a new URL, but if the student needs the URL again, you can just click on the share button. Here, now, it's, if it says anyone with the link can view, that means they're not going to be able to edit. If I want to change it so they can edit, like I just showed you, then I want to change it to edit. If you don't want them to be able to manipulate the document itself, but just maybe they're doing peer reviewing and peer feedback, and you just want them to comment like I did, you can switch it to comment. So it's up to you how, what permissions you want to give to your students, what permissions you want them if they're doing peer editing, or if it's you, the teacher, you're editing, I would recommend that. But if it's peers, you don't probably don't want them to change someone else's work, so you might want to just use the comment feature. Let's say I'm sending this to another student so they can give feedback for this student. Copy the link and press done, and then just send it in an email. So hopefully this video has given you a few ideas about how you can use the comment features in Google Docs. Thanks so much, and please be sure to check out my other videos.